What is a PSE? A PSE, or Power Sourcing Equipment, is a hardware device that generates PoE power on an Ethernet cable. Terminals that are PoE compliant can then connect to a port on the PSC to obtain power, as well as gain access to the network in order to exchange data. PSEs occur in many various forms on a network and can be termed as end span PSEs or mid span PSEs, depending on how they deliver power. As an illustration, we'll look at three different scenarios. For the first scenario, we'll consider an end span PSE, which is usually a network switch, router, firewall, or any network device with PoE capable ports. They deliver power directly to power devices such as an access point, an IP camera, or an IP phone without the need for an intermediary component. This method is more commonly deployed in a scenario where the switch can directly deliver PoE power from its port and the terminals are also PoE compliant with a PoE input port to directly receive the power. This method is recommended for medium and large-scale network deployment as they significantly reduce the number of independent power sources required to power each network terminal. In another scenario, a mid-span PSE is a PSE that does not provide power for the full length of the data connection between the switch and the power device. This usually happens because the switch, in this case, does not support the PoE feature. Hence, an intermediary component is introduced to provide the needed power to PDs. The most commonly used mid-span PSE is a PoE injector with a data port connecting to the switch and a PoE output port connecting to the PoE input port of the power device. The injector merges the power received from the power source and the data received from the network before sending to the terminal. This method introduces some complexity in providing power to network terminals and is not recommended for medium to large scale network deployment. Another special scenario is designed for terminals that do not support PoE when a PoE capable switch is used on the network. In this scenario, we have an end span PSE which delivers power from its port. However, this power cannot be directly used by the terminal as it does not support PoE. In some cases, this power may also cause damage to the network terminal. Hence, a device called a PoE splitter is introduced on the network to split the power and data on this PoE connection, ensuring that terminals that are not PoE compliant can still receive the needed power to operate. The power and data connections are now isolated. This scenario can be seen as a special case of end span PSE, where the terminal is considered to lack the built-in ability to split the power and data signals by itself. Please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and turn on bell notification so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. Thanks for watching.